Well, Rod, it wasn't a classic, uh, but it's the point that, that seals the, uh, the mission accomplished, if you like. Uh, the wings are safe. Uh, you must be delighted. As I said last week, delighted and exhausted. Um, does take it out of you, this, uh, this game of football. But, um, yeah, listen, today, you know, they're a good side. Um, they're a very well-organised side. They're a good side. I mean, I remember sort of, you know, Bobby Wilkinson putting this team together and now Mark's obviously trying to push it on. So he's got good players here and that's what that's what them guys have. They've got a good football team. So, you know, credit to them. You have to say they come and made a good good finale of it. Um, and we knew it'd be a tough game and I watched them on uh, against Maystone. Um, and you can see there's a good side there. A lot of youngsters, uh, very comfortable in possession. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying at home I'd be happy with taking a point, but obviously the points are so, so important. We just didn't want to get sucked in with any chance that it could turn ugly on us. So we had to keep, you know, just keep trying to put points, even if it's one point away to Avent, another point today. Um, and that's what this part of the season's all about. It's not about performances, it's about getting points on the board. Um, and making sure you're safe and, and, and that's what we've achieved um, with a tough game here today When you came in at the end of January you saw the job in front of you uh, I think if someone had told you exactly how it would have gone uh, and we'd be safe in the time we've been safe and, and in the run just two defeats in those 16 games I think it is now I'm sure would you have believed them? Um, we knew it was going to be tough I mean obviously other than being mathematically we knew the, where we was when we'd come in it needed a real hell of a a push. We need it with play, uh, playoff form. Um, we pretty much have done that. We've been up in the form guide since we've come here. Um, and we just, you know, we just, it was a tough job. But the boys, I mean, you, they're very looking tired now. Uh, I felt I see some of that as well on Wednesday. Um, but we've done, we, it's, it's, it's literally, it was doable, but it was literally virtually impossible. So, you know, credit to myself, Kevin, Ilya, the staff and all the medical staff behind us. And the biggest shout goes out to the players that have had to keep trying and performing um, to keep us going. And uh, as I say, like today, I want to have a turning point against us. But, you know, we had some walking wounded and we lost Ricardo early and we lost... Um, who was the other one we lost? Paps as well with a nasty elbow there. So we've had to dig deep. Um, we've, we've a, a smallish squad, as you know. We've, we lost fish in. I think we've starved to some goals. I think we've we've struggled a little bit with that. So where we haven't had that fluency to get in behind teams and call them a real problem, um, we've played in front of teams more, and I think teams at this level can deal with that. So, you know, we've had to try and keep us safe without having... not disrespect to Reese or not, Reese is a totally different striker, but without having that continuous running in behind, um, which which then really helps the rest of the team. I think it's been very, very difficult and today was another tough game like it was on Wednesday, but to come in and achieve what we've done here is just unbelievable. There is, I'm not going to lie, that I wouldn't have turned around and said, you know, if I was a betting man, I, I certainly wouldn't have bet on us to be in this position. And especially seeing some of the teams that are falling away and getting relegated, you know, they're, they're, they're big clubs. And, you know, if this had happened to Welling, uh, it's, it's a total reset. It's a total reset. Going down the league below, um, the club don't become as fashionable and, you know, players don't want to play that level. So next year becomes really difficult for them to get back out of that because it's such a relentless league as well. So I'm just so pleased that we've managed to find enough to, to keep us up. Um, and don't matter, I'd have took it on goal difference. I really would. So it was all about putting ourselves in a good position, which we've done, uh, and then obviously trying to continue the journey. And, and I think the last few games, we've just had to keep picking up points, as I just said. A word for the fans, they, they bought into things pretty quickly when you came into the club. Obviously, the results helped that and always do, but they've been seeing your name, they've got behind it, they got behind the lads. Um, when they've had calls to arms, fill the bars, they've, they've done that over the last few weeks, so they can take some credit as well. Yeah, listen, yeah, and some, and some. I mean, and, and, and I can understand their frustration with how the club was being run or managed um, outside of football. I could understand that, and, and to be fair, Alwood has stepped up. Um, he's had some good meetings with him. He's had a lot of good conversations, really positive. And to be fair, he's, he's gone and done and, and delivered. And 
on the back of that, I think the club can now just feel that we're we're united again, as they say, well and united. And I think we're going to use the word united because that's what we that's what we are now. You know, obviously me and Kevin stay next year, and we discuss players who wants to stay and and, and the, some of the loans that that are going to go have been outstanding for us. There's not a loan here that I can actually say hasn't played played their part, along with the lads that we did brought in like Reese Grant. And, and with the existing boys, we, we've been phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. Um, it's been probably one of my biggest achievements, and I've been in playoffs and I've and I've won this league. But this year is as good as that because, as I said, going down is uh, which wouldn't have all been our fault. But we have to take the take the the blame for that, and we're the ones who have to work in the division below. So, you know, we've all got to take credit. The supporters have been outstanding took a little bit of time to, to get them on our side, same as our would, but, but now hopefully they're, they're with us and, and, and the club will be stronger for that. Can you afford now to, to start looking towards next season? Or I guess you have already in the last couple of weeks, have you? Just, just to start looking at what the squad's going to look like, what we're going to do and, and just to, to carry on this momentum, I guess, into next season, which I guess will be what you want to achieve. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, this is a manager's toughest time of the season, if I'm being honest. Winning games of football, but trying to find the right players. Uh, we're more structured now with a budget. We're not going to go out there and just spend silly money. Um, them days are gone, but our has been very good and, and, and offered us a sensible budget to work with. So, you know, we feel that's competitive. Um, we've just got to get the right players in and, and see what existing players want to stay. And we've got to just try and build off of that. And, you know, there's a lot of things towards the last few games that we haven't been good at. Um, as I said, you know, centre forward is one of them situations. But if we could keep some of the nucleus of these players um, and add a bit of quality um, and possibly use some loans within the season, like we have done this season, then hopefully we should be OK. Um, we know it's going to be a tough league. Dawkins are already set the stall out, saying that they're bouncing back up pretty much. So, you know, Mark's going to um, put his money where his mouth is and uh, look forward to having having the meeting with him when uh, we get the chance. But um, we know they're going to be a good side, and, and what they've achieved over the last couple of years has been unbelievable. And they've tasted the hunger of that. They've tasted what it's about, and they're going to want to go back up again. So, we just want to be competitive, do the right recruiting, um, get the boys playing a certain way, and. We don't want to be in this position again. This is this is a, an horrible position to be in. And as I say, I'm just so pleased now that you know you're telling us that we can't go down. And and even before the game, I'm still looking at that, thinking if we concede, it's going to flip that point. And that's why we had to bank in and just try and make sure we never got got beat here today. But I just want to thank everybody at the club, all you guys that come out all the time. Um, you know, the grounds and Jamie, just everybody that's been a part of it. You have been very welcoming to, to myself. And, you know, without you guys, you are a major part of how we're trying to go forward. And, you know, we want everybody to be here, especially the supporters, but everybody that's me medical staff, Reefy, Michael, Harry, all of them that have all played their part. And if I've missed anybody out, I do apologise. But everybody's played their part. And this is only the start of Welling, as far as I'm concerned. It's not the end of the season. It's the start of Welling. So I've got a lot of work to do, but I promise you guys I will work so hard over the, the summer months. Um, obviously have a little break as well because I'm entitled to that and uh, uh, I need to get away but um, yeah listen we will fight for you whilst I'm here I'll fight for you too for now and um, we ain't always going to win games um, like our record here has been unbelievable since we've been here we haven't lost so you know obviously I don't know when we're going to face that but we're going to have to face it at some time not in the league anyway um, but I'll work as hard as I can and with you guys all doing your bit hopefully you're all going to be back here next season and um, you're going to get behind you know what, what is a fantastic football club thanks for all enjoy the celebrations thank you